Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad. Welcome to Radku Tarot, and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading April 8th to April 14th, uh, 2019. And um, as I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that uh, as a general reading, the reading itself is going to relate. Uh, to different stuff and it's going to resonate uh, in a different way with every single different Sagittarius. So if you want a, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it uh, in the future, that is a subject of a, a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the um, private call readings. <clears throat> so that being said, going to the uh, Sagittarius weekly reading, the first card for you guys, which is marking the topic of the week, that is going to be the, uh, the Empress card. Followed by the second one, which is the negative approach toward the situation you can take. That is going to be the um, the Queen of Pentacles. After that, we do have the positive approach toward one situation. That is going to be the Ten of Cups. And the last card, which is the final outcome, final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of Tarot, this is going to be the Six of Wands. So once again, we do have the uh, Empress card followed by the um, uh, the Queen of Pentacles, then it is the Ten of Cups, and the last one that we do have that is going to be the Six of Wands. So in this reading, uh, the first thing that I'm noticing here is that, it is that the Ten of Cups does manifest itself in a, um, a bit of a weird way. It's not a weird way really, it has that property of manifestation, it just uh, <clears throat> comes up quite rarely uh, or quite seldom, should I say, that is the best term or the correct term to use seldom instead, rare. Uh, yeah, it's quite seldom appear itself in a such uh, with this manifestation. So uh, going to the first card, which is the general topic of, um, of your week, that is going to be the Empress card. So the Empress card pointed this week has to be or is going to be faced by you with a great amount of maturity. So that being said, <clears throat> it seems that you are going to attend um, to your things, or rather like, you know, to your endeavors with a, with a big portion of responsibility. And it is needed, it is because when we have the Empress as a general topic, usually relate itself as that throughout the week, you will have to do a very balanced and deep decision about what you are going to do with your situation, either marriage or either relationship. And the situation itself, it will require from you to detach from it for, let's say, a couple of days <clears throat> or maybe just a couple of hours, just so you can scope, you know, your options available moving on forward. The Empress as well relates itself with a big planning or rather like or rather like a consistent planning for the future. And it is a very potent card for those who are chasing a long term goals. What you need to know for the Empress as well is that usually the card relates itself of that whatever you create throughout the week is going to uh, is going to manifest itself either bitter or sweet, your fruits are going to be yours to swallow. <clears throat> so that's why a great portion of, uh, of maturity it's needed for throughout the week. That's, um, you know, so, so you don't bereft yourself from the sweet fruits of, uh, of your labor. Now, you are to find in many books that the Empress, it's about generosity, it's about taking care of others. And while that is true, until you don't take care for yourself, one is incapable to take care of the others. And it is, in it, and it is from where the Empress, uh, the Empress starts. So as you can uh, see in the, uh, in the car, we do have a woman sitting very comfortably in this uh, luxury throne, right? And while the throne is a, a symbol of responsibilities, 
the woman sits very comfortable in it, meaning that you have to place yourself in a comfortable situation. That being said, this, uh, this placing or this repositioning is going to be manifested through that important decision that needs to be very well found by you through detaching yourself from the midst of activity there and it is you know how you are to prevail just to give you an example of that sagittarius is let's say that you are wondering what you should do with your relationship should you stay or go sitting in <clears throat> inside the relationship you know or enduring its daily routine every day it could mess up with um could mess up with your perception uh, that's why often, you know, couples which are not in a good state, they say we need time from each other, you know, and they, spay, let, and they spend, let's say, a couple of days or maybe a couple of weeks separated and then they kind of like collide once again to decide what to do. It's something like this and it is, it could manifest itself either into your relationship field or either into your career. The accompanied card here that is going to be the six of swords. <clears throat> And the formation, it is a, a passive neutrals, a passive enemies, excuse me. So with the Six of Swords, it, that thing is not, it, it will seem to you the most natural uh, unfoldment of what you got to do throughout this week. You know, that specific detachment from the midst of activity, either career or either relationship wise. So you can find out what you want for yourself and how you are to plan your future. Or in general, you know how to secure your future and become it and make it more predictable here with these uh, couple of cards. Uh, that specific combination, it is it is here to show you, or it does shows up to to make you experience a um, how can I place it a, a state of one's life which you may be afraid of. But once you make your first step into it, you you are to see that there is nothing to be scary of and it is something completely, completely natural. Once again, you know, kind of like detaching from your relationship or detaching from a friendship or detaching, you know, from uh, from your career for just a couple of days, taking a couple of days off just so you can kind of like gather your thoughts, you know, pick up yourself together and decide what you are to do from now on. Uh, which there is a, a very big reason for you to do so at least according to these cards because the second one that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles into the into the negative position as such follow-up it does point that the current situation kind of exhausted itself I mean it can't be any longer like like it was before there is nothing more for you or from the standpoint of growing in it either career-wise or either relationship-wise therefore <clears throat> Uh, you are going to want growth, which is completely normal. But the point with these cards is that the growth can only be achieved when one transcends into the next level in any kind of field, you know, relationship, socializing, social circle or a uh, career as well. So <clears throat> that being said, with the Queen of Pentacles, it is very important that you kind of Put a closure into the uh, into the open endeavors which are prolonged for a, a long period of time from the past. That could be that could be related to literally everything. Everybody has their different endeavors, and uh, on top of that, it's it's just said in the third card as well, guys, is that you just want need to want for more from your relationship, from your career, from your marriage as well, from your friendships and so on and so forth. As the Queen of Pentacles is the card pointing that one should try to to seek a, how can I place it, a additional ways how to improve current situation. And as a negative place, there is no longer additional ways to improve the current situation. I mean, the situation is improved as, as, much, as much as it can. And now one needs to transcend from it into something better. For example, <clears throat> career-wise, if you come back to the same job, you have to be determined to get a promotion or you need to have a, these assurances from your boss or from your supervisor that you are to get a promotion or at least a raise into your, uh, into your salary. Same goes relationship-wise. I mean, if you get back into the same relationship, you, that needs to be made 
under the prerequisite or the foundation that this relationship can transcend into marriage, you know, living together and so on and so forth. Um, <clears throat> The point here is, is that you should not be satisfied with the current situation any longer and how you are, how you can transcend it once again through uh, detaching yourself from it and deciding what your next move is going to be. The accompanied card that is going to be the six of uh, pentacles in the formation is a passive supporters here. So uh, it does look like that you will have to do with uh, the six of pentacles here, you will have to do the, the, the rough step or rather like the first, the, the, the unpleasant step toward this uh, so-called change either career-wise or either relationship-wise because uh, as much as uh, for example your colleague wants it or your supervisor wants it or your wife wants it or your husband wants it uh, they their performance or their initiation is not going to give you the results you require so uh, that being said, with the Six of uh, Pentacles here, it does point that you may hope that the other side is going to help you, but their help actually will not going to resolve your issue or resolve your problem or in generally give you the, the trampling you need in order to jump forward. The only trampling, trampling you can create is by yourself and by that decision that you are to make. It's very important here because the decision is going to come around and uh, you have to basically take under consideration every single minor detail about it and do it accountably, okay, maturely. So going to the next card, which is the uh, positive approach toward the situation, that is the Ten of Cups. And as I mentioned at the start, the Ten of Cups manifests itself into this very seldom way that it does. So I will try to explain it that way. So the Ten of Cups is about full fulfill or, or complete fulfillment, emotional ful fulfillment of the situation one finds itself. But as we can see here, this situation it is just a milestone, all right? It's kind of like it is not fully developed, let's say, interaction, relationship or a career path. And for that reason, the Ten of Cups comes around with this character of the human nature where one always needs to want more. It always one stray for more. No matter how much one, more, one have, it always goes for more. So here, the Ten of Cups complete, uh, additionally contributes to the Queen of Pentacles pointing that you need to aim to be more happier or you need to aim to be more successful and more lucrative into your career. <clears throat> and you have to target those aspects of the situation, which, um, how can I place it? Um, which are unexplored by you until now. It's, it's kind of like, it's very vague. And uh, to give you an example of that, uh, let's say, you know, that you are trying to figure out should you stay into your relationship or should you not stay into, into your relationship. So if you decide to come back into the relationship, you should try to explore uh, things in or kind of like en endeavors into that relationship which you haven't explored before, like traveling into a destination that you haven't been before and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and uh, if you decide not to come back, then probably you have to start associate, associating yourself with uh, different kind of people as well. It is just exploring the possibilities of where you are going to be most happier at. Ten of uh, Cups also kind of relates to that one should not fall into despair in a sense of that whatever the situation is, life can always improve, either slowly progressing or just suddenly out of one decision that you are going to make throughout this week. Once again, that that decision needs to be very maturely based. The accompanied card of the Ten of Cups, that is going to be the uh, death card. And that is the confirmation here as the formation. It is a, a passive supporters once again. So you definitely need a change. Now you need to know that these are conditional cards. These four are conditional cards. And should you have a change or not, that will depend entirely on you. I mean, it will depend on how determined you are to work over or rather like to sever your 
your your ties with uh, the negative aspects of either one relationship or of either one career and to focus more on the positive aspects meaning the long term <clears throat> the long term perspective so yeah you may uh, your partner for example may have a, a characters or a or a sides of his character that you don't like but in the grand scheme of things if you if you look at your character as a, a one whole human being maybe the positive aspects are more than the negative aspects so and that kind of makes you to focus more it's very difficult to explain it guys it's very tough reading really uh, the whole point here is to decide is it worth it or is it not worth it and if it does worth it you will have to force a, a change and transcend that situation into a um, into a it's it's new stage completely sever the uh, the old stage so if you were just dating you know and you're living separately then if you come back you will have to start living together and uh, you know stop uh, stop dating in a sense of you know going every Wednesday or Friday out and so on and so forth. It just needs to become more responsible and more serious if you want to get back into it. If you don't want to get back into it, then you will have to start associ associating yourself with different stuff that you don't do that you didn't associate it before. It's all about that. And this decision, what you will have to do once again, needs to be made by you being in a calm environment, detached from the current situation, and so you can make your uh, decision in a very, very mature uh, fashion. <clears throat> and lastly, what we do have, should you follow all that, you know, kind of like believe that you, des that you do deserve more and focus, focus yourself on the grand scheme of things, attend to it, you know, which should be always focused on your happiness, <clears throat> And you responsibly approach the uh, the points of decision here. Once you make your decision, usually with the major arcanas, the decision has no right or wrong choice that one has to make. It does depend what uh, it's the preference of one of one's personality. And either way, uh, <clears throat> if you do this accountably toward oneself then you are to face the six of uh, one switch points to uh, collecting rewards especially if that is related to your career, uh, also a, a recognition, but also a, a reaching a severe milestone into one's endeavor. The Six of Wands is that peak of experience where you are seeing that things are going very, very well. And from here, however, you should not deceive yourself that the job is done because the job is far from done or the endeavor itself, it's far from over and you need to continue on performing even better as you have performed before <clears throat> so because with the six of wands many people believe in you or in generally those people that are involved into that situation situation believe in you so if you decided to go back into your relationship your partner believes in you and you should not let them down same goes into your relationship if your boss gave you the promotion they believe in you and you should not let them down so you need to continue on performing to your best, to your maximum, if I may express myself that way. The accompanied card of the Six of uh, Wands, this is going to be the Five of Pentacles, the formation. It is a um, active neutrals here. So uh, the more confident you are and the more you are prone to do things which you are best at, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, uh, the, the less problems and trifles and plights you are going to uh, meet for throughout the way. Additionally to that, it seems that you are going to liberate yourself from a, a chain of, of issues. Okay, so issues which were present in the previous stage of that endeavor, as you transcend it into a new level, those problems will no longer be at place and uh, you will no longer... <clears throat> you know, kind of feel yourself oppressed by the same kind of a situation. Well, the new situation may have its own set of predicaments, but with the Six of Wands, it seems that they will be much more manageable than the previous one, and they are not going to be in such a big uh, quantity. So it's a very, uh, Sagittarius, is that was a, a very kind of like a, a different, uh, different, yeah, and as well difficult 
uh, reading to be explained because it does it could relate to so many things just with the empress at the start that could how can i place it it could relate to literally everything and uh, what I can tell you best here is that uh, throughout the week, whatever decision you will have to make, guys, you have to uh, you have to approach it with uh, a full seriousness of the situation, which the situation require, because it's uh, it's going to engrave your future. And uh, as these are uh, mostly earth cards and we do have uh, one um, fiery card here. Yes, you will have to strive emotionally towards your happiness, whatever decision you are to make, all right? But also that decision should not be impulsive. Meaning that, uh, let's say your husband aggravates you a lot and you leave them just because they aggravate you once. Because there are such people, you know. Um, in your career, your boss pisses you off and you just leave the leave the job just because your boss piss, pissed you off once so uh it will be important before you decide what to do to truly scope your options available that are going forward but these options available should not be in the framework of the current uh of the current situation so you will have to aim for improvement because improvement is on the horizon it's only up to you should you take it or not so that being said sagittarius is this was your a, a weekly tarot reading for april 8 to april uh, 14 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh once again this was your general reading for sagittarius star sign and for that reason the reading is going to resonate in a different way and uh, it will relate to different things for every single different sagittarius but if you do want a, a private reading where uh, your personal situation will be analyzed by me through tarot and will give you what is going to happen with it in the future, just like I did for the few examples in this video, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded reading services and $15 for the uh, private call reading services. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.